Well, the one thing that COVID-19 has given us this year is a more intentional focus on technology and artificial intelligence. For three years now, the AI Expo Africa has showcased innovation coming out of our continent. This year, the largest AI conference in Africa will go digital on the 3rd of September. And it's hosted by Vicky, a synthetic presenter. Our real-life anchor, Naledi Maleo, spoke to the co-founder of the Expo, Dr. Nick Bradshaw. What are some of the, the, the things that you think really highlight the Expo this year, especially coming out of the African continent, the innovation that we have here at home? Yeah, well, I mean, the first thing that's come out of the, the, the COVID is that the move to online and online conferences meant that we can have more people at the show. Um, traditionally, you're limited by how many people can join an event because of capacity issues or the duration of the event. Um, this year, we can run a two-day live event and then we can have a 30-day archive of the event. So we're hoping to have 10 to 15,000 young people come onto the platform as a learning um, platform after the main show. So that's the, that's the first big benefit that we've got this year. I think when we look at um, the, the other benefit that's come around from, from the online platform is it's more international. So we've mm -hmm. got embassies who brought trade missions to the show. So very cost effective to have a pavilion and you can have small companies that are innovating from your country. They don't need to fly. They don't need to travel. They don't need to book a hotel. There's no COVID risk. Yeah. So, so I think that's, there's been another second great benefit. And I think the third benefit to touch on your point about African and local innovation is that, I mean, literally, you know, we've, we've made it as, as cheap as possible now for, for startups and innovators to, to, to showcase what they're doing. I mean, we, we have a virtual poster wall, so we're even featuring what's going on in academia. So, yeah, uh, it, it's created challenges, but at the same time, it's created opportunities. So we're very happy about that. So I want to talk a little bit about something I saw, I saw now on your Twitter page and I, I saw it and obviously as a news anchor, I thought, well, there goes my job. There goes my entire career because these are the kind of things you have showcased at the expo. There's um, a synthetic host called Vicky. AI Expo Africa is now entering its third successful year and is the largest business focused artificial intelligence, robotic process automation and data science trade event in Africa. I mean, I think the, the, the synthetic host, Vicky, um, I, don't, I don't think she's going to replace um, humans just yet. Thank but goodness. In terms Thank of, goodness. <laughs> or, or news anchors, for that matter. But, but we are seeing that technology um, becoming much more mature. I think when you heard synthetic voices before and when you saw synthetic generated people, you could sort of tell that they, they're kind of synthetic and that kind of puts people off a little bit. Whereas now that technology, and we've got a, a company that's actually speaking at the show, the company that makes the, the, the host we're using called Vicky, um, that's very convincing. If you watch that on a big screen, um, it's hard to tell that that's not, not a human. Um, so you simply type in what you want Vicky to say. You can choose male and female, color, race, um, accent, language. You can have change the backdrop, you can change the music. And in five minutes, you've got a film. Um, obviously they're short films, they're there to serve a purpose. So for maybe things like welcome, um, like, it, like let's say if you, you, you're a company and you want to create some collateral for your website or something like that, very easy now to, to, to put that in the hands of the business user. Whereas before you may have, you know, had someone come and film something that now, now you can just generate it uh, using AI. So yeah, um, we're in a very interesting transition and Vicky is a good example of, of some of the technology that we're showing. We want to connect people to people. Uh, we want to connect buyers with suppliers. We want to connect young people with learning opportunities and potentially job opportunities. And we want young emerging tech startups in Africa to find a voice, a wider voice and, and a wider reach for, for their innovation. 